Hey folks, this is Dustin Dust Moret with ESEA News, and in this video we're going to be bringing you a round from the matchup between NIP and Very Games in the Star Series 7 Grand Finals. This would be the first time ever on land that Very Games would defeat NIP with a 2-0 score in the set. So first up, let's take a look at the round and see what took place. At this point in the match, NIP was up 5-4 and went into a basic 2-1-2 default to start off the round. As the round begins, Shox and Smith will both head into the B-bomb site. On his way to Cat, Smith is going to throw his smoke into the upper halls, that way Shox can get slightly aggressive in the window with that smoke to keep his eye out for any push from NIP. As the smoke settles, Shox will re-smoke and continue to hold upper as he extends the amount of time NIP has to wait to take upper B without any smoke in their way. Eventually, Smith will fall back off the catwalk and meet up with Shox at the upper halls. After some deliberation, Shox and Smith decide that Shox will stay up top on top of the box with the silenced M4, while Smith will play on top of the green box and keep a peek on the upper halls. As Nip begins to make their play on the B bomb side, Exist will make the first peek at upper halls and Smith will take him down. At this point, Get Right immediately smokes off the entrance while Smith falls off green to the boxes next to it to keep his eye on a possible window push. Now, let's think about this smoke grenade for a bit. Smiths and Shocks were already trying to play a bit of a bait setup where Smiths would be the main peeker taking the attention off of anybody that might be up close as they came out the entrance. So this smoke benefits Shocks greatly as they were already trying to make a bait play without it and the smoke just kind of adds on to it. So it wound up being more beneficial for Very Games than Nip with the smoke that Get Right through. But of course Nip was looking to throw this smoke that way they could work a peek through the window without worrying about being shot through the entrance from Smiths again. Eventually, Forrest will try to make a play outside the window and Smiths picks up a second frag. All this time, Shox has still been waiting behind the smoke and the bait setup to finally make a play, and here comes the perfect opportunity as he waits patiently for both players to come out and then presses through the smoke. As he presses through the smoke, he decides to go after 5th layer and Forrest Jail because he has a gun and he is the biggest threat while Get Right is not armed since he's trying to plant the bomb. Very quickly, Shox is able to frag both players and before you know it, the round's all over. Overall, this is just a great display of teamwork and communication as well as patience and discipline. Very Games respond very well to what NIP was doing and they even use what NIP gives to them to their advantage to further benefit the strategy they had in mind. But we do appreciate you for tuning in. Please be sure to follow and subscribe here at ESCA News so you can catch all the great content we throw at you. This is Dustin Dustmoret signing out. Until next time.